off the Tingle Creek. Next, this is a two mile grade one event over two miles, and it's always a speed test. This one, the fastest chasers in the land. And at the top, we've got Wade Bridge for Darren Thompson, by chance, David Hooney, Matisse de Bowie, David Robertson, nothing fancy. Martin Leland, the smiler, Joshua Sutherland, and time and eternity, Leon van Rensburg. So, just six of them. Odds on favourite for Joshua Sutherland, they're away and racing. And a very short run to the first as it was in the last. It's the same course, of course, as they just used in the Henry VIII. And they're all over the first, okay. And racing down towards the second. And Matisse de Bowie is the horse who is just about in the lead, but the pace is somewhat pedestrian to say this is supposed to be a speed test as they get over the second, nothing seeming to be all that keen to lead, it might get a little bit tactical, that fence they've just jump in now, will be the last on the next circuit, and Wade Bridge has now come through to just about show in the lead, and that one looks like it might be going to take on the mantle of front runner, but nothing seems all that keen to do that at this point. As they pass the winning post with a circuit, they go. Wade Bridge leads by about a length to Time and Eternity in the blue jacket on a rail second. Then the Smiler in the black and red hoops. Then after that one, nothing fancy with By Chance closest to us and Matisse de Barbe in the purple and uh, the turquoise and pink right at the back. But no more than five lengths off the leader. Here is Wade Bridge who seems to have settled down into the roll of front runner now. Jockey's got a firm grip on the reins though as Time and Eternity. Moves up on the outside, the wound within three parts of a length, and the rest of them are virtually four in a line. As they race down the back part of the track, with Wade Bridge, two lengths to the good. And time and eternity has just dropped back into the chasing pack now, nothing fancy, is just about third, by chance it's fourth, then Matisse de Barwi, and finally the Smiler. As they continue this long run to the next and get over that one pretty nicely short one to the second and they're all safely over that one the second part of that double as they now race down the back part of the track and it's Wade Bridge who's got the lead as they come into this ditch gets over it nicely from time and eternity in second they're going to go into the three railways shortly and then the pond fence and two in the straight and that's it and it's Wade Bridge who's in the lead but now being joined by Time and Eternity and the Smiler these may be the big three who've now gone on with Matisse de Bowie back in fourth really good jump there by the Leon van Rensburg horse Time and Eternity but he didn't take the second railway fence quite so well and over the third one they're all over it okay with the exception of By Chance who was untidy at the back and he's beginning to tail off but it's the Smiler who's just about gone into the lead on the outside of Time and Eternity but they come round the straight now into the straight and towards the pond fence and this will probably favour the horse on the inside Wade Bridge might get back into the lead coming down to the pond it's Wade Bridge on the inside from Time and Eternity then Matisse de Bowie suddenly the Smiler's looking a bit flat footed nothing fancy's running a big race on the inside as they come down towards the pond then over the pond they go and it's in the lead Time and Eternity nothing fancy the outside has now come through to take it up and it's nothing fancy who's taken the lead from Time and Eternity in second Wade Bridge on the inside then the Smiler and Matisse de Bowie coming down towards the second last fence then now and over the second last they go and nothing fancy landed in front from time and eternity second Wade Bridges in third then Matisse de Marby and the Smiler over the final ditch and nothing fancy jumped in really well and he's attacking the hill but she's being challenged now by Wade Bridge nothing fancy's in the lead Wade Bridge Matisse de Marby Matisse de Marby's getting up on the outside and Matisse de Marby he's going to take this one from a fast finish in the Smiler Matisse de Marby wins in the Smiler second then Wade Bridge nothing fancy time and eternity and finally by chance and Looked like we were going to see a major surprise there with the outsider. Nothing fancy jumping the last in the lead, but Matisse de Bowie has come up and taken it. The favourite overturned and only second. It's a win for David Robertson's Matisse de Bowie. The smiler for Joshua Sutherland was second. Wade Bridge for Darren Thompson was third. Nothing fancy for Martin Lidl was fourth. And Time and Eternity for Leon van Rensburg was fifth.